Hey guys, hello gorgeous. Taking a look at the latest installment in the Divergent Saga, it's Allegiant. And I love the original one. I thought it was really, really good. I guess I'm one of the view people. A lot of people didn't like it, but I liked it for its story, for its encouraging story of telling people to be confident, to stand apart from others, to not be afraid, to not be grouped in. I think, uh, Labels and groups are one of the worst things that has ever happened to this planet. Uh, this mindless, here I go into one of my philosophical rants, but this just kind of mindless patriotism, um, favoritism, uh, racism, ageism, whatever you want to call it, that people just associate with something and they get really, really passionate and aggressive about it and they don't even stop and, and think why. Well, it's because it was given to you. Uh, so many of these labels are given. They're not earned. They're not worked for. They are given. Here you go. This is your country. This is your um, whatever. And I just liked Divergent for the fact that you got this girl who it, it doesn't sit right with her. It was all about what's in your heart. What do you feel is right? And she follows her heart rather than her programming, rather than her um, societal or cultural upbringing. So I thought it was excellently executed. And I was very excited for uh, more installments. Uh, the second one, um, I thought it was okay. I thought it suffered from that whole thing of, okay, this is a series now and we have to set up you know, the big third chapter. So I walked away from it not feeling as satisfied as the first film. I, I thought the first film actually stands great on its own, just like the first Matrix film. And you can leave the, the rest to your imagination. And then actually being told how the story progresses, I thought, well, you know, maybe that would have been better left to my imagination. But it wasn't a bad movie uh, at all. This third movie, though... Um, I was very excited about it. My wife, too. Uh, she's a huge fan of the series. She read the books. And we just both walked away from it going, what the hell was that? Uh, it it lacked all of the heart and the charm of the uh, previous two. Um, the main character, Triss, she went from being earth-shatteringly amazing in the first movie. Like Her and Jennifer Lawrence, I thought, were tied for most talented uh, new female actress, but um, in this one, it felt like she dialed it in. Like she just didn't care, and she's tired of this. Um, that's pretty much, you know, all I need to say about this one. When your star, when your driving force of the film, just kind of seems to be, you know, yawning her way through the whole thing. I mean, she she's still a very good actress, even when she's not really trying or motivated or whatever the thing is. Like she's still a great. She's better than a lot of the other actresses out there, but I just felt like, wow, she kind of dialed it in and that's what the whole movie felt like. Like it was dialed in. I don't know about all of the changes that were made. I've heard about them, uh, that a lot of liberties were taken from book to, to script to screen. Uh, I don't know about those, but, um, not having read the book after watching this movie, I'm wondering if maybe they should have stayed closer to the source material because, um, if you change something, hopefully it's for the better, but, uh, it seems as though a lot of people don't, don't think that's the case in this film. And, uh, the plan was to split the, the third book into two movies as so many series are doing today. And, and I can't stand it. I, I wish they would just try to, if it's three books, get it out in three movies, um, or four books, four movies, instead of this splitting thing that is just watering things down. And, uh, it looks like it bit him on the ass because, uh, this, this third movie tanked hard at the box office, uh, to the point where the, uh, studio is now saying, um, we don't really want to release another one in the theater. We're going to do a TV, TV movie or a TV series. They might not bring the cast back. It's a real head scratcher. And it's a shame because the first one was so good. It's too bad that it declined uh, in quality like that. And for me, uh, Divergent is now kind of like The Matrix. Uh, the Matrix, I just watch all by itself. Uh, 
The second and the third one, I didn't enjoy them, and I haven't watched them since they came out in theaters. Never saw them again after I saw them in the theaters. I've watched The Matrix uh, quite a few times since then, though, and same will, will be for Divergent. Still love the movie. Will watch it again and again. Uh, as far as its sequels go, um, I think I will just uh, maybe read the books someday uh, and skip the movies. Got an opinion on Allegiant? Scroll down and go to town to join the Nerd Tribe. Hit subscribe. Nerd Mustang. Hadouken! <laughs>